Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. Can electric power be transmitted without wire? The answer for the question is yes, it can be done. In this video, I will demonstrate how to transmit electric power wirelessly. Here I have a coil of enameled copper wire. To this I have connected a resistor and a transistor. Now I am going to pass the current through this coil. For that I make use of a 9 volt battery. Connect this. Now current is passing through this coil. Now I will bring a another coil to which I have connected an LED. You can see this LED do not emit light. When I bring it close to this coil, look at here carefully what happened. You can observe as I bring it close, the LED glows. When it is kept very close or within this first coil, it has started glowing bright. Now, I will bring another coil which is little larger than the first one. It is connected to an LED of same kind. But here number of turns are more compared to the first one. Let us see what happened to this. Now, what is kept here? No, the LED does not glow. When I bring it near, slowly it starts glowing. And as I am getting close to the first coil, the brightness increases and becomes the maximum when this two coil touches. This is how electric power can be transmitted wirelessly. We call this phenomena as mutual inductance. In a mutual induction, we pass current through one coil that produces induced EMF in the neighboring coil. Here, let me tell you what is the use of, what is the role of the transistor in the first coil. Suppose if I pass direct current, then this phenomena will not occur. But in my case, I am passing direct current only with the help of this battery. But still, mutual induction takes place. The reason is the presence of this uh, transistor. This transistor produces varying magnetic field. When I pass current, it, this coil produces magnetic field. But that magnetic field is continuous magnetic field. When I use a transistor, the magnetic field goes on and off continuously, it varies. That varying magnetic field induces an EMF in the neighboring coil. We call this EMF as induced EMF and the phenomena is referred as mutual induction. Now I replace uh, this battery with a power supply. This is uh, a regulated power supply made by me. It can able to give 9 volt DC current. <coughs> I place uh, this coil inside. Uh, this box, now I, I remove this uh, battery connector. I remove the battery connector and I connect this to these two leads. The positive terminal is connected to yellow wire. 
I twist it and the negative terminal is connected to the green wire of the coil. Now the connection is done. <coughs> Here this one is a regulated power supply. It can give 9 volt DC current. A regulated power supply is one which gives out voltage of same value without any change, without any fluctuation. Now I connect this to the power supply. I pass current through it. Now I switch, I switch it on. Is it turned on? Now I'll show you the voltage produced by this with the help of a uh, voltmeter. The uh, this uh, multimeter is set to read the voltage. I place it here. Look here. Our multimeter reads 9 volt. Now, even after some time, you can see it remains same, it do not change. This kind of power supply which give the constant output voltage is referred as regulated power supply. Okay, now the connection is done. What I do? <coughs> I close this box. Close this box. Now I bring this coil which is connected to an LED. Now I place it on the box. You can see this LED glues. Now I bring up one more coil. small coin which is connected to the LED as well. Now I will place it here on this box. You can see it also glue. Though there is a gap between the first coil and the second coil. Still the LED glows. It is due to mutual inductance. Let me elaborate the concept of mutual induction. For that, I consider two coins. Here, the first coin have n1 number of turns and the second coin have n2 number of turns. Suppose I pass the current I1 through the first coin, then it will produce a magnetic field. That magnetic field will have magnetic field lines. As a shown here. Suppose uh, the current I1 changes with the time, then the magnetic field will also change. The magnetic flux linked with the second coil. Here magnetic flux means the number of uh, magnetic field lines crossing per unit area of uh, the second coil. The magnetic flux linked with the second coil when changes, it induces an EMF in that coil. That EMF is referred as mutually induced EMF and it is representable at E2 as you can see here. Uh, here I represent the magnetic flux linked with coil 2 as 5 to 1. That means Magnetic flux linked with coil 2 due to the flow of current in coil 1. This is what it means. And it is uh, found uh, to be directly proportional to current I1 through coil 1. Here 5 to 1 is the magnetic flux linked with each turn of second coil. 
the second coil have n2 number of turns so the total magnetic flux linked with this coil is obtained by multiplying this term with the n2 so the current relation is nothing but this so n2 multiplied with phi to 1 is found to be directly proportional to the current i1 which is flowing through first coil now I remove this proportionality. So what do I obtain? I obtain this. When I remove this, I write equal to sign. Then I include. I have to include a constant called as proportionality constant. That proportionality constant I use here is m two one. Then I one is written as such. Here m two one is nothing but mutual inductance it is otherwise known as coefficient of mutual induction here m21 can be obtained from this equation by cross multiplication guys right? m21 i keep it here now i take a i1 to this side it is multiplying here when it is taken to the another side it will divide so i'll get n2 5 to 1 divided by i1 this is the the expression for m21 now suppose I say that the current passing through the first coil, which is I1, is equal to 1 ampere. Then this equation will become M21 will become equal to N2 phi to 1. This shows that mutual inductance. will be equal to the magnetic flux linked with the second coil to the flow of current in the first coil when 1 ampere current flows through the first coil I repeat the mutual inductance will be equal to the magnetic flux linked with the second coil when 1 ampere current flows through the first coil <coughs> from uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know the induced EMF in the coil is equal to a rate of change of magnetic flux linked with it. So, a rate of change of magnetic flux means they are changing magnetic flux. So, D phi to what? So, the change in magnetic flux due to single uh, this phi to one is the magnetic flux linked with each turn of that coil. The coil has got a n2 number of turns. So, I write a n2 multiplied with this. This gives, this gives me a change in total magnetic flux linked with the second coil. Now, when it is divided by change in time, then I get a rate of change of magnetic flux linked with second coil. Here, the induced EMF always flow in a direction to oppose the cause. Here the cause is the changing current in the first coil. So according to Lenz law, I have to write a minus n here. This represents the direction of uh, induced current. Now let us go ahead. <coughs> Um, here this term 
एन टू फाइव टू वन फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन इज इक्वल टू यार एन टू फाइव टू वन विल बी इक्वल टू एम टू वन इन टू आई वन सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एन टू फाइव टू वन राइट दिस वैल्यू equal to e2 equals to in the place of this i write its value which is nothing but m m 2 1 i 1 divided by d t here m 2 1 is proportionality constant as i said earlier so i am going to bring this outside as you know it cannot be differentiated so i write this equation This way, yeah. Minus sign as such. Then m to one taken out. D i one divided by d t. This means uh, rate of uh, change of current. In simple words. So e two is obtained to be equal to minus m to one dot d i one upon d t. Now from this uh, equation. M two one can be obtained by taking this term along with minus sign to this side. Now it is multiplying here. When it, it will be taken to the other side, it will divide. So equation will be obtained something like this: e two the numerator, then minus sign here, then this term comes to the denominator. D I one divided by D T. Now this is how I get the equation. Now I say that D I one upon D T rate of flow of current through the first coil if it is equal to one ampere ampere per second. If I consider the value of D I one upon D T. Equals to one ampere per second. Then this equation will become something like this. Now m to one will become equal to minus e two. Well, it is equal to one. Clear? So I get the this new equation. Now that says that mutual inductance will be equal to EMF induced in the second coil when a current of one ampere per second flows through the first coil. This is another definition of mutual inductance. Which is otherwise known as coefficient of mutual induction. Similarly, if a current I two flows through the second coil, then it will produce an induced EMF of E one in the first coil. Similarly. When the current I two flows through the second coil, it will induce an EMF E one in the first coil, and the magnetic flux that links with the first coil to do the flow of current I two in the second coil it will be nothing but Y one. It is just the opposite of this one. No, I will draw and show this to you. Mm. Let us say this is the first coil with n one number of turns, and uh, here I have the second coil. 
Now I said the current I2 flows through the second coil. Now it produces magnetic field in the second coil. Suppose uh, this current changes with time, then the magnetic field will also change with the time. The number of uh, magnetic field lines linked with the, the first coil is referred as the magnetic flux linked with it, and uh, the magnetic flux linked with the first coil is uh, referred or represented by letter 5, 1, 2 and due to this an EMF is induced here that EMF is represented by letter E1 now by following the same method we obtain the value of E1 and as well the value of M 1, 2. Now, <clears throat> in this case, M2, uh, M1, 2 now can be obtained from this equation. Now, what we need to do is, we need to replace 1 with the 2 and a 2 with the 1. That's all. The place of 2 I write 1, in the place of 1 I write 2 here. Then this side I write n, in the place of 2 I write 1. Now 5, in the place of 2 I write 1, in the place of 1 I write 2. This gives me the equation of mutual induction. in coil 1 due to coil 2. Similarly, E1 value from this relation, E1 value can be obtained as equal to minus M here 2 I write 1 here. The place of 1 I write 2. Then D I here we have 1 so I write 2 here. Divided by D D. This is the, the expression for induced EMF in the first coil due to the passage of the current, the changing current in the second coil. Then the expression for M12 from this equation can be obtained by cross multiplication. That is equal to M12. This term go to the side. So it will divide. And along with this term minus sign will also come here. So we get this. Minus sign. This is a the expression for M12. Now, it appears so similar to this expression, but the only change is in the numbers. In the place of 1, we have 2. In the place of 2, we have 1. It is observed that for a pair of a coin, the mutual inductance that is a M1 uh, 2 is found to be equal to M2 1 and uh, these two are equal to M. This is uh, the general term you need to remember. The mutual inductance between two coins is measured in Henry. Here Henry is the unit of the measurement of mutual inductance which is represented by letter 
capital H. Experimentally, it is found that mutual inductance between two coils depend on the size, shape, number of turns, the orientation of the coils and the, the permeability of medium in which the coils are placed. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.